Okay, well this is going to be a tutorial on how to capture any audio that comes through your computer speakers. So it could be from YouTube, it could be from different program, a movie, a DVD you're watching, whatever it is, you want to capture some of the audio and save it, this is how you do it. Um, the first step would be to go to your control panel and go to sound and then go to the recording tab and yours should look something like this you might have one less microphone or whatever and then we're going to go to show disabled devices because what we want to see is stereo mix if it's already showing then you don't have to do this but what you want to do is enable the stereo mix and this is basically the sound that comes through your speakers is right here so we'll hit OK so now that's enabled and then we're going to go to audacity.sourceforge.net and audacity is free it's open source software it's a great recording program download that download that it's very simple install it <clears throat> and uh, right there audacity okay so then it looks like this and what we want to do these are the settings you should try to have here. We have MME, I don't know what that stands for, but you want to make sure that the output is set at speakers and the input is at stereo mix. And one note for you guys, with I noticed with mine, with my computer and my setup, if I have my USB headphones plugged in, I won't, I'm not able to record um, very easily. It gets messed up. So you got to make sure that the sound is coming through your speakers and that it's set at stereo mix so in my sound instead of having my USB headset and the sound coming through those I'm ha I make sure that it's the default is the speakers and then it's as simple as going to something like this funny Super Bowl commercial with Jerry Seinfeld and basically we're gonna hit record on audacity Chris one. Play. I'm so sorry, Mr. Seinfeld, but you're number two on the list. Who's so number it is one? Not capturing okay. all this sound. So you're number one. Yeah. And you like to be number twenty. So let's say that's all I wanted right there. You can go to Audacity. Go to the beginning. Chris one. I'm so sorry, Mr. Seinfeld, but you're number two on the list. Who's right, number so one? It sounds great. Okay. okay. Sounds like what it sounded like when it came out of my speakers. So really you're number much. one. Much yeah. loss there, quality loss. I'm sure there's a little bit, but it seems to work fine. So now, the final step would be: let's say we want to now turn that into an MP3. That that file that we just created, we would go to export, save type as MP3. There's other options: wave, um, FLAC. Whatever you're doing, let's say I'm trying to do MP3s because this is a pretty common one. Let's name it Jerry. Save. It allows you to put in the artist name, the track title, album number, track number, all those things, the metadata. Hit OK. Oh, look, it pops up. It says Audacity needs the lame encoder to create MP3s. To get a free copy of lame, click here. Download that. This is the Wikipedia. We go to the download page right here at the top. Don't click any of these extra crazy things. Just go right here. Lame on Windows. Lame for Windows. Click that. It's going to download that. So it's done downloading. And I ran it. Next. 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 Install. Boom. Installed it and then we have to browse to the location of that file that we just downloaded so it put it in my program files lame for audacity there it is that's the only file it wants hit OK and it created it <laughs> yep there it is Jerry so it's as simple as that and now if I went to that spot I could hear it right here and there it is as an mp3 first one I'm so sorry 
So I hope that helped you guys. That's how I do it. It's very simple. It's very easy. And this isn't just to rip music to steal. There's there's a lot of legitimate reasons why you might need to capture the audio that's coming through your speakers of your computer. So I hope this helps you guys. And leave me a comment if you'd like to see more tutorials like that. If there's anything specific you'd like to do, like me to do with audio or video programs, um, just leave me a comment and let me know and I'll try to get something made for you. Thanks a lot.